The day is Monday, and I'm at the OC and up here in this area, this aquifer. Now the question that I'm presenting to these experts is, and there's already people, it won't happen. It just means that they're having to, the experts are having to come at it from different. Fed, this is the aquifer on both sides of the river fed. But the shallow one, the one that's shallow, is not. It's 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 Mississippi. Well, hey everybody. Today's November the 11th. The year is 2024. The day is Monday, and I'm at the OC. Did a kind of like a drill swim. Went really fast for 50 meters, and then I went really fast for. 100 meters. Overall, I got one mile. 1,625 is equivalent to a mile with this particular pool. But, yeah. I'll process the data and I may show you a little bit about what it, what it looks like. But I wanted to mention something. It's a project that I've been working on with my consciousness and it started now to move into me talking to experts about this subject and one of this one of the things to do with this subject is the aquifers the Mississippi aquifer and the Arkansas uh, the Arkansas and Mississippi is pretty much together but the separation is is with the Ozark up here in this area, this aquifer. Now the question that I'm presenting to these experts is, and there's already people ahead of me thinking. So I started visualizing and creating this about three years ago. So we don't have anything right now feeding the aquifer. I'll just be straight and tell you that. But that don't mean that it won't happen. It just means that they're having to, the experts are having to come at it from different approaches. So as I get comfortable with talking about this subject, I'll be more in kind to tell you a little bit about who I'm talking with and why I have so much confidence that especially the Mississippi Vicksburg district gets me. And uh, so I got to talk to the Memphis and, and get the Memphis Corps engineers to get the same kind of um, working relationship I got with Vicksburg. The people at Vicksburg, the older people, they remember me from when I worked with them in the 80s and the 90s. And the other district is the Little Rock district. The Little Rock district will be the one that we have to go through for the lakes and rivers and streams here in Ozark, Missouri. And that encompasses, the Ozarks encompasses a huge track of land. Maybe I can come up with an image and show you how big it is. But that's like saying the Mississippi Delta is just Mississippi. It's not. It's, it's parts of Arkansas and Louisiana. Now, is it fed, this, is the aquifer on both sides of the river fed the same? The answer to that is no. They have their own aquifer, but they share a shallow one. The deep one is shared. Let me put it that way. But the shallow one, the one that's shallow, is not. It's, 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 it's Mississippi has its own, and Arkansas and Louisiana share their shallow aquifer. But the deep aquifer is joined with all of those three states I just spoke of. So, as I educate myself on this subject, I want you to know 
One reason is, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and set this out there in the consciousness field. Mississippi Delta has got away from growing any kind of food, any kind of product that would be fit for consumption by humans. The corn that they grow is being used and utilized for high fructose corn syrup. That's got to stop. It's killing people. Robert Kennedy Jr. will take that thing, the bull by the horn, if a little country boy like me that grew up in the Mississippi Delta can see that that corn is useless. You can't even feed it to pigs, but they take it and do a process to it and it goes into every kind of food product you can think of and they say it's a sugar. Well, it's, it's a deadly sugar. It's high fructose corn syrup and the industry don't want you to know how they're doing it and why they're doing it the way they're doing it. So I, I will open up a can of worms on that because some of the richest people in the world have a high, high level of interest in keeping the people ignorant of the poison that is in our food. But Robert Kennedy Jr. is gonna be working with Trump and so I'll start making more and more videos explaining and talking about how you can look in the past, 1970, and, and you'll see that everybody was slim, healthy, physically fit. But once they started with the high fructose corn syrup in the early 70s, it changed. Especially in the Mississippi Delta, it made everybody sick. But the Mississippi Delta could feed the whole United States, Canada, Mexico. If they were to actually get on a love-based consciousness level where they have the inner knowing that we're all one and the awakening takes place within their consciousness it can happen i want to see it happen sooner than later so that's just something i'm setting out there in the in the field the quantum field if you feel the quantum field then you know what i'm talking about we got to change some people's minds about things. All right, I'll tell you more about this uh, story later as it develops and grows. Yeah. They'll be talking about this story for 10,000 years. <laughs> Not because of me, but just because of how the fertile Mississippi Delta should have already been feeding the world, or feeding, you know, us anyway. We need real food, people. Love y'all. Keep coming back to my channel.